Hello all. In this video, we will show you Cadmatic Electrical Interlink features, way how you can defragment your engineering work. So what kind of problem we are actually solving? In electrical engineering, the fragmentation can be a very common issue. You may have a lot of different deliverables in different disciplines like electrical, automation and instrumentation. All those deliverables can also have same information. Same devices and same cables can be shown in different documents. With electrical, we can combine those pieces together to make your engineering work easier and create a one tool for your EIA design. How things are then technically working? Core of the whole tool is our own CAD tool which is a full CAD software and can this way replace your other traditional CAD tools. You can easily edit your old DWG files with this CAD tool what is also easy to learn. We have created our own database core on top of that, so this core will connect all the CAD files together and store the project data to one place. Electrical core is application level, this will include all the electrification tools in CAD side, but also own database tool interface called DB tool. In practice, this is meaning that with electrical you are actually drawing a cable instead of polyline and inserting real devices instead of just blocks. You are working with the real project object all the time during your engineering work. Project core will of course collect everything together and that is why you can maintain all the project documents and all the project data as a one project. You can work either with CAD tool or our database tool. All of this is called a CADmatic electrical. And with Cadmatic Electrical you can create all these key deliverables, what you are needed in your engineering projects. Let's see then a few practical examples about these features and how we can help you in your everyday work. We will start from the project and files, because that is one of the main things in electrical. This creates foundation for whole project concept. Electrical documents are normal CAD files which can include an objects in model space but also in paper space like viewports and drawing frames and labels. All these project files are located in one Windows folder except reference files, templates and these kinds of files which are easier to store in subfolder. In electrical side you can easily see all those project documents in electrical document tree pane. From this tree view, you can see all the project documentation and for example how many drawing labels you have in each document. You can open documents easily from tree view, print all the documents at once and even compare document to previous version. Folder structure of this tree view can be defined by user to meet your own requirements in each project. Let's see then what it means when documents are connected together and what we mean for example when we talk about device occurrences. In electrical, we can place symbols or blocks in documents, but all these symbols, which have ID, are connected automatically to the certain device. This way user can concentrate real project object and its properties like device or cable. Because this is done automatically you can easily locate objects from project tree and right away see all the other occurrences what this device have. By editing object you can see all the properties of this device like additional info or all the other occurrences in different CAD files. Once again you can easily jump into the other document where this device have occurrence from this property dialog or directly from the tree view under the device. In this example we have occurrences in single line and multi line documents also. Double clicking the object will open same object properties dialog in every document. With Cadmatic Electrical, you can advance automatically collected data, like cable length estimation. In this project we have one pump without cables. Creating an object is extremely easy, so you can use normal CAD technical copy functions, like in traditional softwares. And if objects are electrical object you will be asked to give new ID for new copied project objects. Sometimes it is just easier to draw new object, so drawing a cable, can be started easily from the ribbon, and you just need to give ID for cable. Select type, and is cable marking added to drawing at the same time. Then you only need to show head and tail of cable. This way cable line and its marking is inserted to the drawing. 
After saving, we can open cable properties and we see how head and tail information is automatically taken from end of cable line. So there's no need to manually type this information. You can also see calculated length in cable properties. This is now first, early state estimation for cable length, what is calculated from arrangement drawing based on location of head and tail equipments. If we now jump to motor occurrence which is in arrangement drawing, we can see properties and location of this device, but also cabinet can be found, so the cable length estimation can be created based on head and tail coordinates in arrangement drawing. One very powerful feature is possibility to add data for objects, based on their location on arrangement document. This feature, together with possibility to add any data to CAD document as marking, is very useful. Let's take an example. This information, such as where the pump is located, which deck, which frame, and which side of the vessel, can be read automatically from the arrangement document. This marking is done by using function insert info to drawing. You can select which data of this device you want to show in drawing and of course add prefix or suffix for data if needed. Markings can be copied to other objects by copy symbol function and its information is automatically updated. Here we can see that this one starter panel is missing from arrangement drawing because information is empty. Now we can find this object from device tree, switch to arrangement drawing and place new occurrence of device to this drawing. When the device is placed in arrangement drawing, related information is updated right away. Cable length is created or updated to the cable between cabinet and starter panel, depending if was device placed or just moved. And of course markings are updated in other documents like in here. All this can be done by using additional info and additional info boundaries together in arrangement document. If we turn on the layer where I have my boundaries, we can see different sizes boundaries in drawing. Boundaries can also come from external reference, so same frame boundaries can be used in each deck. Let's take closer look to audio devices. We have zone boundaries in drawing, so each loudspeaker know which zone it is located. I will create one new boundary called service area and will give value for it. Let's call it loud area. You can affect properties of boundary and I will add one filtering, so this boundary only affect devices in certain system, in this case only for audio devices. Boundary layer can be turned off, so your document is much more clear to work with. And right away after this, this one device will have information about loud area, but light equipment doesn't have that info, because of our filtering what we did. Previous examples, we have worked in CAD tool. But with electrical, you can choose also database view. From the ribbon, or from the project tree, you can open database tool. DB tool is our interface for all data in project, and good example about that is documents. In document tab you can see all the same files what you can see on CAD side, but also all label info, in easy to read list view. All the white cell in grid can be modified. So editing drawing labels without opening any CAD files can be done here. Anytime when you need to edit multiple objects, or need to find something specific from your project, it is good to check DB tool features. Let's see if we filter all object what we have modified today. Starter panel is new device what we copied in single line document. An audio device we modified when added service area boundary. We can now select all and add devices in user selection list. User selection list is a feature what can be used when switching between CAD and DB tools. I will also filter all cables what we have created lately and add those to user selection list. In this case cables what we copied and drew in single line earlier. If we now move to CAD tool and refresh view, we can easily check what we have collected to use a selection list and work with these object.
Edit or add occurrences for objects selected in DB2 or like in this case where we located selected cable from single line document. In DB toolside you can remove all the filterings at once. And create new based on any data, what you have collect to project database. These interlink features will help also when there is need to delete something from the project. In this case, we will delete one pump. Because this pump have occurrences in documents, it is only marked to be deleted. To find this pump easier in CAD side, I clear my user selection list and add only this one pump to the list. On CAD side, after refresh, occurrences of this pump are marked to documents and in project tree. To find this exact pump, I can now check my user selection list and easily go through all the occurrences of that device. And if pump is deleted, that can lead to situations that also start a panel and cables are unnecessary and can be removed from project. With electrical, you can be sure that all the documents where device have occurrences are modified before device itself is deleted from project. One place where you can advance about data what we created is of course reports. With our report tool, admin can create report definitions with queries and templates. Once done, reports can be added to project, so updating reports later will be extremely easy. Let's take a look about audio device report form this project. Because report template can include company logos and even formulas, you will have a lot of possibilities to create exact report what you need. In this case, we can even see bar chart about audio devices total power in each zone. We have one remark or check rule also made to this template, which gives info if speaker looks to be too small for loud areas. We have also collected location info to this report, so it is now easy to find this particular speaker from Vessel by using correct tree view. Editing device could be done also directly in DB tool, but in this case, we wanted to check first where this device really is and made decision that we need to increase power. In this point, we need to save document, this will ensure that changes is also saved to database right away. Now we are ready to update our audio device report with latest info. This can be done simply from document tree and you don't need to worry about report outlook. Report is done with same settings what your admin have used when saved report to project. Updated report will show us that total power for zone 1 is little big bigger and we don't have any remarks in report anymore. And when you want to be sure that all reports are up to date, you can easily update all project reports at one same way. We have collected these few examples for you to get big picture about electrical. Create all key deliverables with one tool. Enrich your project data easily with connected documents. Maintain data integrity with centralized data management. Improve quality with easily updated reports. Hopefully you have also found useful info, thank you for watching.